Over the past few days, I've noticed something kind of interesting. There's been a really large number of young guys that have come onto the channel to complain about what is going on here, what women say, what women want, how they don't want to give it to them, how we don't deserve it, how they want to be judgmental about women's past and what they think that women uh, deserve, what women should and shouldn't do, all kinds, just all kinds of stuff. And what I wanted to do was explain to these young guys that their behavior is a complete opposite of the dudes that get the women. And I'm going to show them how they're making such a grave error and making themselves look even worse in the eyes of the very women that they claim they want to get. My name is Deb Cooper. This is the seven minute lesson on life and love. Hang on. We've got seven minutes to do this. So let's go. For the sake of this video, I'm going to divide men into three categories. There's the group of men that are all over social media. They use it as therapy. They use it as a pickup place for their thirsty behavior. They use it to berate and stalk and, ch and challenge women by arguing with women all day or, you know, jumping slide into people's DMs and acting a fool. Or... This second type is the guy who's on social media, but it's strictly for business and professional purposes. It's his tool to promote whatever it is he's doing. If he's a promoter of parties and events, nightclubs, that kind of stuff, he's out there doing that. He's trying to get people to come to his events. He's an entertainer. He's trying to get people to come to his shows. He's, you know, dropping lugs about his new release that's coming out. I mean, he's using it as a tool to make money. And then there's the, kind, the third kind of guy, which is the guy that you will not find on social media at all. And that's the type that we're going to talk about tonight. The guys who are the ones who really get women and know how to keep their mouths shut and don't be spreading their business all over. Don't be saying mean things to women to turn them off. And they keep everything that they do on the low low. So they're not all over social media because they don't want the women in their lives to either, if it's someone he's serious about, he doesn't want her business out there and people asking all kinds of questions about her. He wants to keep his private life private. That's to protect his woman and his children. Okay. And then there's the other type that's in this category who's a straight player. And he is not trying to have any of the women that he's talking to have information about the others. They, he also doesn't want any of them to have information about him. This works to his advantage because whenever he's telling a woman anything, she has no way to, to verify whether it's true or not. So it is a very slick tool that these guys use. Now, what I wanted to talk about, though, was that particular aspect of the guys who get women and know how to do that. These young guys that were coming around complaining about women's previous uh, lovers and, and you know relationships and they have all these really weird stupid crazy ideas that they got from other weird stupid crazy dudes on the internet with all these theories about you know soul ties and and all this stuff about I mean they anything that they have to can come up with some kind of magical anything to try to make it seem like if a woman was touched by another man before they came along that somehow she's not good enough for them and in the meantime, while they're sitting there being all this judgmental and looking down their nose at all these women, what are they? Alone. And the guys who don't have those stupid attitudes are the ones that you see out on dates, having a good time, laughing and joking and being invited to women's houses, 
to to fam women's family events, maybe even getting married to somebody that they really love and who really loves them back. And this has been proven, you know, over a period of time. And you know why she loves him? Because with her, he is cool. And I think a lot of guys don't understand that. No woman wants to be in a situation where she's been like microscopically examined and judged. That's one of the things that I like about when you find a man who is a really good lover. One of the things that he can do is make you feel relaxed and accepted. No matter what kind of ideas you have, no matter what happens in the bedroom, he is comfortable with it. And he makes you comfortable with it. And when you have a man who encourages you that kind of relaxation in a non-judgmental, non-condemning environment, that is the man who's going to get the best out of every woman that he comes into contact with. Those of you who sit there looking down your nose at women and judging them and talking about what they should and shouldn't do are the ones where you're going to get a mask. She's going to try to give you what it is she thinks that you want if she likes you. Otherwise, she'd just be like me and tell you to kiss, go kiss, your, kiss her ass and be out and not really give, give a fuck about what you're talking about. But, you know, a lot of young women especially are still at that phase in life where they think that their happiness lies in a marriage and relationship with a guy. So that's what they always are hungry for. And so the so that they try to do things because they want to, you know, you to be pleased with them. They want you to like them. So they go through all these conniptions to hide things that they think that you don't want them to do. And it might be something as simple as, you know, they like chocolate chip cookies and you don't like cookies. You only like pie. So she stops eating, eating cookies around you because she doesn't want to hear you talk smack about her cookies. Stuff like that. The, her music choices, how she does her hair, whether she has a weave or not. I mean, you guys find so much stuff to talk about women about and whereas the guys who are getting the women you know what they're saying to the women baby you fine you beautiful I like you just the way you are come here girl okay that guy is gonna get the women what are you gonna get nothing because you don't even know how to be warm and accepting and inviting to a woman and, br and bring her into your life you don't know how to do that all you know how to do is condemn and judge and so I'm pointing this out to you because I saw so many the comments I, they were so vile I couldn't even make them live on the wall I deleted them and some of the guys who posted some stuff that was super foul just got blocked from the channel so they're they're out of here but you know I wanted to point this out to the rest of you so you could look sit there and look at your behavior online and you will see the men who have the women they ain't online they're not online doing what you're doing. The little bitch boys are online doing what you're doing. And if you're doing that kind of thing, you're in these groups, you know, y'all bigging each other up, talking about women. And you think that that's, you know, a big thing. That's your male bonding uh, behavior is to dog out women. Yet you talk about, you know, you're lonely and you want a woman and you would love to have a family. Okay, do you understand how you're behaving and how that behavior is going to never translate into a woman wanting to be with you? She's going to think that you're a hateful, mean little fucktard and she's not going to want nothing to do with you. So I want you guys to really examine your behavior and think about what it is that you're doing and why you're doing it and how you're shooting yourself in the foot. If you want to get with a woman, you got to think like my grandmother. You get more bees with flies rather with honey than you do with vinegar. You guys are full of vinegar. Don't nobody want you. It's just you just run women off with your sour attitudes and your sour words. So I hope you do better. This is Deb Cooper signing out.